Let's quickly have a conversation about Amazon Relay box truck requirements. How to apply to Amazon Relay for box truck companies. Don't go anywhere. You're going to love this full tutorial. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you had to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I'm actually going to teach you how to apply for the Amazon Relay box truck program and how to be actually successful. One thing you need to understand is when we talk about Amazon Relay, this is basically a program that has high growth potential. Okay, you can actually boost your growth with daily access to thousands of full truckloads because the program is uh, nationwide and you have a hassle-free payment. Amazon is a great player, so you are being paid every week. So and you have full transparency in the payment program. This is really good. And you're actually dealing with a company that has world-class technology. The thing here is that Amazon has developed a suite of technology tools to operate safely and efficiently. So you can see on the screen here, here are the requirements for the program and this is in a nutshell and I'll go in detail in a minute one thing you need to understand is that Amazon, the Amazon Relay program is great for both carriers and also drivers very important so you can actually uh, with the Amazon uh, for carriers you have uh, triple benefits you can actually you have access to a wide selection of work you have hassle-free booking options and faster payments this is really great in terms of uh, boosting your bottom line in the long term right so you have short-term contracts so actually you're securing full worksheets for your drivers and you can grow your fleet by locking in guaranteed revenue for provided trucks with single or multi-week contracts several weeks in advance this is really good in terms of business planning so you know in advance the revenue you're going to generate you can post a truck so you can actually reduce uh, empty miles and idle time by sharing them when and where your trucks are available. This is really good when you think about it. So Amazon Relay will automatically book loads matching your criteria so you can focus your time on growing your business and scaling your, your trucking business. You have a, a load board so you can enjoy a wide constellation of exclusive work from um, Amazon and across Amazon's entire freight network. And you also, you also have a transparent all-in pricing and you can instantly book work with a click of a button. So this is really great. Okay, so by the way, you can also join the Amazon Freight Partner Program for long-term consistent work. And for drivers, the benefits are also triple. So you have a, a highly rated app, you have a driver app that provides faster checking, easy scheduling, and give you uh, the, the app gives you real-time updates as your drivers are on the road. So this is really good for the for the carrier, but also for the driver. So you have work schedule and notifications, you have quick check-ins and commercial navigation. This is really good. You have truck-specific navigation that safely leads drivers to yard entry gates through commercial-friendly routes, accounting for low bridges, weight limits, and other restrictions. So I just gave you the the overview of the Amazon Relay program. Let's get into the step by step. The first thing you need to do is to get legit. This is very important. You want to incorporate. Okay, you want to get your LLC, LPS Corp or C Corp. And you can file articles of organization or incorporation, depending on the legal structure that you choose. You have to file that. Now you want to contact your state secretary. And you can actually Google how to incorporate in and you put in your state. Or you can Google how to start an LLC in and you put in your state. You can also use a formation service to take care of that. If you have, if you want to outsource the whole app, the whole operation, this is really good. And they're kind of cheap too, though. And we actually have a video called Inc. File versus Zen Business versus Legal Zoom versus Record Lawyer, the top LLC services. You can watch this video if you're interested. Or you can use even Nolo. Nolo is also good when it comes to uh, that kind of work. And you want to get your EIN from the IRS very important folks don't don't actually uh, 
discount that very important you want to set up your accounting and business operation in other words you're trying to actually get legit you want to divorce your personal affairs from your business affairs your business affairs okay do not be a sole proprietorship and trying to get into the amazon relay program it will not work and you want to get your licenses and permits and talking about licenses and permits it's very important to understand that th there is a checklist for licenses and permits if you want to start a trucking company first you need to get a commercial driver's license especially important if you want to operate heavy trucks okay all your company's drivers need valid cdls very important number two you want to apply for your federal dot and motor carrier authority numbers so department department of transportation and mca numbers those are very very important so we actually have a, an entire show on that also you also number three you want to complete your unified carrier registration your ucr ucr is very important also because you want to verify active insurance coverage in each state where a motor carrier operates okay this is important number four you want to get an international registration plan your rp tag the rp tag is very important also in terms of if you want to uh, operate in all states and also in the most canadian provinces you want to get that and for more information you can visit uh, irp online okay number five you want to understand heavy use tax regulation okay so if you have trucks that that weights fifty five thousand pounds or more those trucks are subject to the federal heavy highway vehicle use tax okay you want to obtain an international fuel tax agreement you're after de decal this is important you want to file a boc 3 form also this is kind of important also in terms of making sure that you are in uh, in agreement in compliance and uh, number eight you want to get a standard carrier alpha code your, your scac so those are important also if you have more information you want to visit the national motor freight uh, traffic association website step number three folks actually step number two so but point number three you want to set things up very important you have to understand that amazon wants to have a motor carrier so the you need to understand a company that provides truck transportation is called a motor carrier but there are two types of motor carriers private carriers and for hire carriers and amazon wants you to be set up as an entity that can be hired for for work so to operate as an interested motor carrier you must operate as either a private or a for hire carrier so when we talk about a private carrier this is a company that provides truck transportation of its own cargo usually as a part of a business that produces uses sells and or buys the cargo being hauled and for hire carrier this is a company that provides truck transportation of cargo belonging to others and is part of is paid for doing so okay this is really the distinction here so to operate as an interstate for hire carrier the company must also register with fmcsa so this those are things you need to think about and there are two types of, of uh, for hire carriers you have the common carriers and the contract carriers so a for hire carrier may be both a common and a contract carrier but it must file separate registrations to obtain both licenses this is important to understand because um, amazon is going to check that and amazon will make sure that you actually comply with the federal and state regulations with respect to private carriers and for hire carriers if you need more information about uh, this subject we actually have a, an entire video on that and the video is called how to get your trucking authority this year tips for starting a trucking business so this will tell you the types of uh, operating authority that you need okay remember that um, the type of operating authority requested will impact the type and level of insurance that is required by fmcsa so therefore you want to carefully select only the type of operating authority relevant to the business and you also want to read the instruction before filing one thing that's important to understand is that the fmcsa does not refund application fees what's my point here my point is that you need to set things up in such a way that you comply with the Amazon rules of having not only the authority, the, the appropriate authority that you need for your uh, for your trucking business, but also to be set up as a for hire carrier. 
Okay, so the entity, your company, must be set up in such a way that Amazon can engage in a contract with it. And this is important. And please pay attention to, to authority, to your th trucking authority. Okay, you want to have your own authority. This is important. And if you, to obtain your uh, own authority, there are a few steps you need to, uh, you need to take. We have explained everything in that video I was referring to earlier. So step number three, so for point number four, you want to get rated. And this is the third step here. You need to understand that Amazon will check four important safety databases, among others. And it's important to understand that your company needs to have safety records with the FMCSA because the FMCSA maintains several websites that provide easy access to valuable safety related information. In other words, people want to check that your company is legit and your company's drivers are safe. Okay, so users, if you go to the FMCSA websites, you only need a company's name, US DOT number, or MCA uh, motor carrier number to perform a search, your MCN, your motor carrier number. And uh, there are actually four databases that, like I said before, that Amazon checks among others, but the four main ones are the analysis and information online, the AI online, so if you are arranging transportation for a group, the passenger carrier safety website helps you select the right vehicle and find the, the safest passenger carrier companies. Okay. You have the data QS. So this is a database that allows you to request and track a review of federal and state data issued by FMCSA that you feel may be incomplete or incorrect. So the system will automatically forward your request for data review, your RTR to the appropriate office for resolution and collect updates and responses for current requests. Remember though, this site requires a registration for access to data. You have the safety and fitness electronic records system, the CIFR system. And basically you have uh, two, two profiles here, two databases here. You have the company snapshot and you have the company safety profile. So the company snapshot is a free service that provides a concise record of a company's identification size, cargo, inspection, and out-of-service summary, crash data, and safety rating, if, if any. And then you have the company safety profile that is a fee-based service that offers more safety-related information about in, an individual company's operation, including selected items from uh, inspection and crash reports, and results of any reviews or enforcement options, enforcement actions rather, involving the requested company. So that's the third database. The fourth one, you have the safety measure system, the SMS system. And here you can search for motor carrier safety data and you find out how the FMCSA uses this data to enhance safety. So the SMS uses data from roadside inspection and crash reports from the last two years, okay, the last two years, and data from investigations to identify and intervene with motor carriers that pose the greatest risk to safety. So it's important that you need to, you need to check your basic score and make sure it complies with Amazon's relays guidelines. Okay, Amazon wants to make sure that your basic scores are as follow. Unsafe driving below 60%, HOS compliance below 60%, and vehicle maintenance below 75%. So currently, by the way, I just wanna put in here, the HOS, the hours of service rule, allows truck drivers to work up to 14 hours a day, during which time they can drive up to 11 hours followed by at least 10 hours off duty before coming on duty again. Also within the first eight hours on duty drivers, uh, within the first eight hours on duty, drivers must make, must actually take a 30 minutes break in order to continue driving beyond eight hours. So those are things you need to be aware of. I'll be right back right after this, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Studio Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation today about the Amazon Relay box truck requirements. And uh, the the next step is you need to get insurance. Very important. Okay. And Amazon wants to make sure Amazon is very clear in terms of uh, the required insurance policies that they, they need. They need commercial general liability, not less than $1 million per occurrence and $2 million in the aggregate. You have auto liability, not less than $1 million per occurrence 
including a trailer replacement coverage of $50,000, cargo coverage of at least $100,000, workers' compensation insurance in all jurisdictions where your company operates, and employer liability not less than $100,000 per occurrence. This is very important. Those five elements, Amazon is going to check them. They are going to check them, so make sure you have them. And uh, in terms of uh, choosing the right insurance companies, the right commercial truck insurance companies, we have actually uh, we have a small compilation of the best in our view. And you need to understand if you look for the kind of insurance policies that Amazon wants, you need to go to Progressive. So Progressive is really great. They have uh, they are the top commercial vehicle insurer in the United States. They are available in all 50 states. They offer free state and federal insurance filings. They have a variety of discounts and they cover a wide range of truck types. This is really good. And then we have a Sentry. Sentry is also great, but this is great for single trucks. So they, this is something that this is a company that you will love. We love their level of personal service and industry expertise. Okay, this is really good. And uh, they, are, they have flexible coverage options. They are available in all 50 states and they specialize in coverage for owner, operator, and personal uh, use liability trucks. Okay, so they actually um, programs rather. So they specialize in coverage for owner, operators, and personal use liability. So we have the Hard Ford. That's the third one. The Hard Ford is kind of cool for fleets. So with special programs and discounts tailored to multi-vehicle businesses, the Hot Ford is an easy choice for the best commercial truck insurance for fleets. So this is really good if you have fleets. And they have fleet-specific programs, devices, and discounts. They are available in all 50 states. They have many complimentary coverages, and they have actually a special risk engineering services for, they have a constellation of those services for fleets. And then we have Cover Wallet. So, Cover Wallet is not really an insurance company, they are an aggregator, okay? So the platform can help commercial truck drivers purchase insurance for their vehicles in just minutes online with basic coverage starting at just $125 a month. So you have instant online quotes available. You can buy a policy online instantaneously, very good. And uh, many coverage options for a wide range of trucks. And you have coverage available for bad credit, bad driving record. And we have State Farm. State Farm is great when it comes to customer service. Okay, it's really great. And they have high consumer satisfaction ratings. They have coverage for individual or fleet vehicles, and they are available in all 50 states. Next, you need to apply, folks. Okay, it's important. So you, lo you need to log into your Amazon accounts to sign up for it. Amazon Relay. So you need to have an account. And Amazon Relay will ask questions about five specific categories. Five. Don't forget. So the first one is they're going to ask you for US dot and MC numbers. So you need to put the numbers that I you should have gotten earlier. I think I told you that. Okay. Then they have the company details. So they want to have information about the name, the legal structure of the company, physical address, majority owners, so people who own more than 51% of the company as well as uh, you have also uh, business licenses and permits. Okay, so those are things that they're, they're going to ask you. Very important, especially if you are trying to get into the program. And also, they will be interested in the equipment inventory. So we are speaking about trucks and other fixed assets, as well as policies you have in place to maintain that equipment inventory. So when we speak about equipment inventory policies, you need to have a complete fleet management plan you need to keep records and acquire data on your fleet. You need to make you need to make a cleaning and maintenance easy. You need to hire qualified drivers. So what is what are your policies for hiring hiring competent drivers? You need to offer additional training for drivers. This is important. The training programs is uh, quintessential if you want to get into the Amazon Relay program. You need to actually use GPS software to track your fleet. You need to understand fleet insurance policies. Okay, so that's number three. That's uh, yeah. That's number. That's the number three and four actually. So the insurance I just spoke about that. So the first thing is the the U.S. dots and MC numbers. Number two, company details. Number three, equipment inventory. Number four, insurance. I just spoke about that. And then you have to think about the payments. So payments, uh, you put your business bank account, routing number, and account number, and you get paid actually weekly. Okay. So payment cycle runs weekly from Sunday to Saturday. So everything completed before 2359 Saturday will be paid out the following week on Friday. And to submit an invoice for a load, 
the Amazon Relay program will generate invoices automatically, so you'll be able to review all invoices and payments in Amazon Relay portal. Okay, and if you have a payment issue, you can submit payment disputes directly through Amazon Relay portal within 30 days of reviewing your weekly invoice. And it's important to understand that once Amazon receives your completed, your completed application, this will be approved or rejected within two to four business days. They are very fast with the program and delays, if any, will be due to validation of insurance information because they check that. They check that a lot. They will, co they will contact the, the, uh, the company, the insurer, to make sure that you are legit. Okay, Amazon urges you to have all data ready prior to applying and reach out to your insurance provider in the event of any delays. Okay, once approved, you will begin to uh, book loads from uh, their uh, the Amazon Relay loads board. You will also be able to access Amazon Relay portal FAQs and uh, operating guides for existing carriers that will provide useful information on how to operate successfully within uh, the network, the Amazon Relay network. Last but not the least, you need to comply. Okay, you need to comply. It's important now. You need to understand that Amazon really monitor carrier compliance strictly. They use a variety of tools, including their own internal compliance teams and a third party compliance monitoring service to validate and continually monitor carrier compliance. So before you apply and uh, after you, you've been approved, make sure that you maintain compliance requirements, you fulfill their requirements, okay? And what type of uh, equipment Amazon does work with? It really, they offer, they work with a variety of equipment. So when we, if we are in the tractor category, they work with uh, day cab, box trucks, sleeper cab, and for trailers, they work with 28 inch trailer, not 28 inch, 28 feet, <laughs> 28 feet trailer, 53 feet dry van and a reefer. Okay. So this is important. And one thing you need to understand that the Amazon relay program is actually a constellation of technology products that enable carriers to self register with Amazon and find book and execute Amazon loads. Okay. So you need to actually be ready to, uh, accept loads, assign drivers, ac access Amazon's Relay load board, track performance, view and download payment details, and raise issues. Those th those uh, capabilities, those modules are offered within the Relay program. And uh, carriers also get access to Amazon's mobile-based Relay app, iOS and Android, which enables drivers to view and manage load status, report delays, and use truck-friendly commercial navigation. And all carriers and drivers are required to use uh, the Amazon Relay products for all Amazon loads, okay, for monitoring and tracking and reporting. And in terms of safety and performance, Amazon makes, uh, actually there are service level expectations you need to be aware of, okay. Amazon requires that carriers ensure the highest level of safety and performance, including compliance with uh, safety, Department of Transportation and insurance requirements on-time delivery to, del to actually satisfy the uh, customer, consistent tender acceptance, executing loads using Amazon Relay technology. For them, it's important that you use their technology again so they can actually track, they can track efficiency, they can track safety, they can track the compliance across the, uh, the entire network. And you can actually view your, uh, if you're interested in the performance expectations from Amazon Relay, you can actually uh, view that when you actually onboard. And remember that you can also track your own performance because Amazon has a, a transparent performance scorecard in the Amazon Relay program. And you can view your performance for all of your loads in order to continuously improve and have the opportunity to grow your business with Amazon. Okay. And uh, Amazon also prioritizes safety, not just for drivers, but also for carriers. So this is important, but also for the public. Okay. Those are important things. And the thing here is that overall, this is a great program. If you have any question, once you are accepted into the program, you can contact 24-7 operational support for the carriers. They have a, something called the Relay Operations Center, the RSC. This is really wonderful. This is it, folks. Today, I was speaking to you about the Amazon Relay truck, the Amazon Relay box truck requirements. And... Uh, I spoke to you about the, I gave you an overview of the program. You need to get legit. You need to set things up. You need to get rated, safety rated that is. You need to get insured. You need to apply. You need to comply. 
Thank you so much for your assistance and for your assistance, <laughs> your attention. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.